Good afternoon. Um, thank you for joining us today. My name is Yani and I'm live from the National Museum of Singapore. So this program is a part of our Hari Raya celebrations. Hari Raya celebration is a part of the four ethnic festival that the museum celebrates, which is a platform for intercultural exchange. Um, so we have a few Hari Raya programs today that was presented earlier. So please do check out our National uh, Museum Facebook. So right now, we'll be presenting an energetic item, Diki Raya, a Diki Bharat showcase. Um, so Diki Bharat is actually an inter... Uh, it's an ICH, uh, and it's a form of art practice by the Malay community in Singapore. It's traditionally uh, a choral ensemble that is made up of 12 to 16 people, and it's known for its lively, upbeat performance uh, that involves percussionists and singers. So today's group, I'm very honoured to introduce Kalana Purba, an award-winning group with over 80 active members. It is an intergenerational group made up of experienced seniors and energetic youth. So the programme today, they'll be presenting a bit of history about Diki Bharat, the different roles that each member plays, and they will include some performances for you today. So without further ado, I present to you Kalana Purba. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Basanjata ka kata. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. 
Fajar sinar cahaya Hari mulia Di hati sunyi dan sepi Yang pergi takkan kembali Syawal ku yang kembali Dan pilu yang tak bererti Guys, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Welcome, welcome to National Museum of Singapore, and here we have for you on stage Kelana Purba. Please, ha, stand lah, stand. I join you. Yeah, yeah, yeah join well, me. I join you. Yes, oh. yes. Okay, guys. So, uh, to all viewers at home, welcome, welcome oh. to National Museum of Singapore FB Live. Oh. And right now we are having a DK Raya show with Kelana Purba, myself, Mizi Mizan, and this is Amirul Haq. That is right. So Amiru. Yes, saya. So just now you were singing lagu di pinggiran Idol Fitri. Mm, yes. Am I right to say that? Yes, correct. And I, I and, and I think in in uh, the DK context is very very famous. Uh, this song oh, very very almost. Right. If you don't know this song, you cannot claim yourself a DK <laughs> Barat people. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Okay. So guys, so for those of you who are watching, so this is us, Lana Purba, and and let me just explain briefly about DK Barat since mm. we are. We are uh, enjoying DK Barat. Yes. And also, it's a festive season of Hari Raya. Hari Raya. So, uh, let me just introduce to you guys what is DK Barat all about. So, basically, uh, based on history or origins, DK Barat actually uh, came from... Which uh, country? Which country? Uh, Thailand, uh -huh. but nearer to Malaysia. Uh, is nearer to Malaysia? Kelantan. Kelantan, Kelantan, Kelantan. that is uh. right. So, so uh, based on what I heard, right, so... Uh, so it was from uh, Thailand, Kelantan, then it went down all the way to Singapore. Yes. And I'm uh, roughly 19, 1980s, 19. Maybe earlier. Maybe earlier. Yes, Maybe yes. Earlier. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so this is what DK Barat has evolved from, from Thailand. And by right, uh, right there at Thailand, uh, or, or we say it's Kelantan. Not, it's not really a performance. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It is actually a way for them to. Uh, uh, celebrate the celebrate. harvest season. Yes, correct. That yeah. is right. And last time they call it DK Hulu. D I K I R H U L U. So oh, DK that's Hulu. the original name. That is right. This oh. is what I heard. Okay, so for those of you who are maybe our seniors or pioneers watching us right now at FB Live National Museum of Singapore, you guys can just add in your comments and we will read it. Please and do so. Yes, of course. Please, okay. Please. So just now, the first segment was the introduction. Mm -hmm. The buka panggung ataupun tepuk sepuluh ataupun yes. tepuk panjang. Okay. So ah, uh, for those of you who, who are at home right now, uh, please take note of what we are saying because National Museum of Singapore is going to give out giveaways. Oh, got present. That is right. Oh. But what is the present? It's a surprise. Yes. Oh, so they please, have a contest. That is right. What? So for those of you who know the answers, uh, because later we have a, a quiz quiz segment quiz at the end. Question and answer. That is right. So later you guys will uh, just apa <laughs> panggil? <laughs> you guys will. Uh, you can give give your answers through. That is uh, right. Uh, and you and uh, your your camera is here. Oh my uh, dad. Yes. Yeah. So we cross. <laughs> okay, so guys, so uh, the first part was the introduction atau buka panggung tepuk panjang tepuk uh, tepuk sepuluh tepuk sepuluh. Yes. Okay. Then uh, this is our tok juara give tuk round juara. applause, Wah. guys. Amirul Ha. Okay. Ma. So uh, in DK Barat we have four components. Okay, the first being the tok juara. Myself. So the one who will sing the main message of the whole song. And also uh, the one who most likely have the nicest voice of the oh, whole team. Really? Yeah? Yes. Hey, clap, 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 clap. Oh, thank uh, you. Okay. So, so the second one is the tukang karut, which is yourself. So, which is me. Yeah. So usually the tukang the tukang karut in direct translation of Malay to English it's <laughs> nonsense. 
not karut physical, lah, but karut. yes, correct. So, <laughs> but in the DK Barat context, we are usually uh, uh, share with you guys the the moral of the story, uh, mm. and and also we are we are the jokers of the team lah. Yeah, of yeah. Course, of yes, course. of course. You like to joke around. Then after that, we have the chorus ataupun awa awa. A W A K A W A K awa awa. It's them. Right, guys. Five of them. Yes. Okay. And usually, uh, like what the, uh, like, like what we have mentioned early on, but right, DK Barat uh, consists of 12 to 16 people. But due to the uh, COVID restrictions, we can't manage to bring the whole team. If if we want, we can. Oh, we you know. We like but, bring but everyone. No, but we have to. Uh, Apa, 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 we have to accept the that is right. <laughs> Banyak gitu. Okay. Must follow the rules and regulations. That is ah. right. Oh my God, my English today is uh, Saturday. Saturday, why? Uh, so English off day. Oh, I okay. Thought, <laughs> okay. Okay. Next MC. up, we have the Paluan. Okay, so the Paluan will this bring the music here? and bring the whole thing to life. Yes, Paluan, make some noise a bit, Paluan. Can? Nice, nice. Okay, so let's break down the Paluan. Let's Paluan? break down the Paluan. Okay. So uh, we we we'll start off with. We have the Rebana. That's right. We have the Anak Rebana. That's right. A smaller version of it. Then we have the Maracas. That's right. We have the Chanang. And we have the Go. Okay, maybe we want to uh, ask them to make a sound a bit. All uh, together. So, so everyone at home can differentiate these four components of mm. the instruments, please. All four of them together? No, uh, separate, separate. Okay, yes, let's go. Please. Hey, assalamu alaikum. Hey! Clapping, clapping. Get together 
Gentlemen, boys and girls at home. So that is Yankee. Yankee. So this is the uh, uh, the intro of a uh, tukang karut. Yes. So and usually in uh, a a DK Barak concept mm -hmm. or shows, uh, the tukang karut will always sing spontan, spontaneously. Yes, that mm. is right. So uh, bear with us, our broken English and broken Malay. <laughs> uh, we we just uh, trying lah. We are trying. Yeah, we there, just there's trying. There's no rehearsal. <laughs> you just sangat kau. <laughs> okay, yes. So, uh, okay, so that is Yankee Spontan. So, uh, just now was uh, the lagu juara. And just now, hmm? uh, Amirul, yes. I was asking them to play single-single. Oh, single You single. masuk lagu Yankee. Oh. oh, Sorry, got no training. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> okay, let's, okay, uh, for the viewers at home, let's try this, alright guys? So, we will uh, let you guys listen. Uh, for, for each and every instrument to play a solo act, then we'll combine them together. And this is how it works. Ibu Rubana, please. All right. Oh, so usually in percussion, he will be the one leading the whole of That is right, song. that is right. Yeah. So that is the Ibu Rubana. Yeah. Okay, next. When we have the Ibu, okay, in, in Malay, in direct translation, yeah. Ibu is uh, the mother. mother. So when there's the mother, that's the children. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, the smaller ah. version. Lah. Why, uh, why are you like lost like that? <laughs> I, I'm not sure where you're going with this. Okay, it's okay. okay. Just follow the driver. Okay. okay. So, uh, so, so there's the Ibu Rubana. Hmm? There's the Anak Rubana. Anak Rubana. So the An Anak Rubana sounds a bit more higher tone or higher pitch. Yes, correct. Anak Rubana, please, let's go. Oh, very sharp. Yes. Wow. Beautiful. Then. Okay, then, okay, then we have the maracas. So I believe at home you guys should know the maracas, and and I think most of us have played with a maracas. Mm, yeah, correct. But trust me, when I join the Barat, when I see the maracas player, I respect, you know, because why? 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 It's not so easy to play that thing, you know. Oh, ah, yeah. because you need to have that drop. I can't explain it in words, but maybe all the musical people at home can they understand, understand maybe they Okay, understand, huh? uh, please, Mr. Maracas. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you okay, feel okay, it? Okay. That one. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you see it. Oh, got different chuk. tone. Shh. Yeah, that is Shh. right. Style, uh. So, that takes a lot of years to, to do. Uh. Okay, and this is one of my favorite instruments mm -hmm. in Paluan, yeah. which is the gong. Okay, gong. Yeah, okay, okay, one, okay. Uh. And, and also, uh, in the Kibara context, the gong can be played as, as in, the gong in Chanang usually play as a pair. So, uh, as as by one person, mm. or they can play it separately. So the gong, please, let's go and the chanang. All right. I'm going kau ni nak lebih lebih pula. Okay. So usually the chanang is uh, used as the metronome of the whole uh, musical arrangement. Like the tempo lah. That is right. Ah. And the gong will uh, will uh, will be the penanda of the clap. Ah, <laughs> uh, you if you don't know what is penanda. Down there got subtitle. Got subtitle. Yes, that's right. Okay, so we want to play this together with the whole ensemble of the Paluan, okay? Yes. Ah. Yes. Ooh, nice, huh? Nice. Right. Ah, okay. So it's that. Not only my hit. Right, right, right. So, and, and this is why I believe that music is a universal language. It is for everyone. And DK Barat is for everyone, guys. Despite you are being Malay, Chinese, Indian, or Eurasian, Singapore, it's all about Roja, right? Multi you know? Multiracial. Okay, so the next step, we are going to play uh, another segment of uh, uh, DK Barat uh, set, which is? which is the Kelantan. And the Kelantan Ooh, is... Oh, that one. Yes. I okay, so once I said... DK Barat is all about spontane uh, spontaneity. So DK Barat, uh, the Yankee is, is a slower pace of Kelantan. So Kelantan is more of the... Uh, higher speed. Higher speed. Ooh, ah. I scared. You want to try? <laughs> I scared. Okay, so one one. Ah. Ah, okay, okay. Let's go. Are you ready? Very good. Let's go, guys. Eh, boleh, boleh. Let's go. Cuba je lah, eh. Ay, lepas habis karut Yankee, kita masuk karut Kelantan. Kelantan, <laughs> Yankee, DK kita happy, happy kita main 
cara spontan. Lepas mula lagu juara, lepas itu lagu Yenki. Ini baru sikit aja lepas itu happy happy. Aku ni nervous. Jangan nervous lah, brother. Kita pernah first. Hai, Hamizan, Hamizan. Yes. Dari bulan apa? Oh. Entah engkau tak tahu. Dari syawal pula. Oh, syawal. Syawal pula, syawal. Bulan syawal. Hai, sekarang bulan syawal. Ada apa istimewa? Sama-sama. Ah, sama-sama penting. Betul. Syawal Hari Raya ada tak beza? Sekarang dengan sedulu memang ada beza. Ada, eh? ada, ada, ada. Ada beza. Dulu Hari Raya apa yang berbeza? Ah. Dulu Raya kita boleh keluar sama-sama. Oh, rindu. Yes, dulu sekarang tengah COVID, jadi macam mana? Because now is COVID, kita duduk rumah saja. Rumah. Yes. Yes. Tak apa, tak apa, mesti kena raya juga. Yeah. Kena kita ikut suria, raya tetap raya. <laughs> Puasa sebulan yeah. Jadi raya mesti ada oh. yeah. Tapi ada yang puasa Ada tak puasa Loma, Jangan bilang jangan bilang. <laughs> Hai hari ini Kita ada di Kebarat yeah. Ini Barat Bukan ada Kita ada standard Oh tiba salah Tak apa tak apa, tak apa. Tak apa. Hai hari kita cakap pasar raya. Yeah. Kita cakap pasar raya kita nak tanya kita. Tanya kita, tanya kita. Kita ada di sini nak cakap pasar raya. Oh. Kenapa engkau repeat? Kita cakap lain pula. Ha. Aku nak minta maaf aku first time lah. Uh. Tapi confident mesti ada. Oh, okay. Ah, wow, okay. Very so fast, ah. Yeah, so Very that fast. that is uh the difference between Yankee and Kelantan, hmm. and Kelantan being the faster uh, pace. Yeah, Ooh, and must, wow, must think very very fast, ah. Yes, ah. and and that's why uh mostly um we in Singapore mm -hmm. when we play the uh, the. Uh, The brains of the tukang karut must be fast. Very, very fast. Very, very fast. Very, very fast. And just now we were talking about uh, Hari Raya. Okay? Oh, yes. I forgot about this, guys. What is it? Oh, yes. Uh, oh, yes. Now it's me, right? Now me lah. And I forgot to share with this with everyone at home. Kelana Purba oh. was established in 09... Oh, nine. Oh, oh, five. Uh, oh, five, nine. Eh, zero. Zero, nine, zero, five, ah, nine, zero. That is right. <laughs> Sometimes people make mistake, you know. I ah, clap, 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 clap. <laughs> okay. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Kelana Purple was established in uh, nine, 
9 of May 1990. That is right. That is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have you, you have me. Yeah, yeah. thank you, thank, ah. thank you. Yeah. So, uh, and, and this is a very, very important, uh, what do you call Message? Info. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, for those of you who are at home, and this is a Hina. So, uh, Klana Purba was established in 1999. And we. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong. 90? Uh, correct, correct, correct. Uh, director say correct. Okay, lah. Okay. Klana so, Purba was at established yes. on 9 of May 1990. Asaka Kofam Sudan. Okay, okay. So, uh, and. And uh, Alhamdulillah, <laughs> uh, and uh, we we have been uh, we have been here uh, uh, ever since then, and it's been thirty one years so far. So we just celebrated our thirty first birthday. Thirty first birthday, yeah. not thirty. Uh, was it no? Thir- <laughs> Ooh, you, bring, you bring personal. No, letter. no. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, so uh, once again, okay. Uh, so that is a hint. The uh, Kalanaporo was established in 9 May 1990. Okay, so next up, just now we talk about Raya, right? Mm. And uh, and we and 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 uh, and I talk about uh, how Dikebara is so yes. spontaneous. And this is what I we want to show you guys and how Dikebara can actually infuse a commercial song, a commercial Dikebara song, to be a Dikebara. Okay, okay, okay. Understand? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. and this is spontaneous. Trust me. Okay, and this is what what I what I want to do. Ah, uh. okay. okay. Paluan, play a beat that comes to your mind right now. Jangan fikir lama sangat. Okay, right? You see that? Okay, and it is important for DK Barat team to be uh, united so they they can think together. They must do everything together. So the awa awa or the chorus will clap along to the Paluan. Let's go, guys. Five, six, seven, go! Alright. Are you thinking of what I'm thinking? I I I got something, I got something. Okay. Got something. Let's do this at home. Let's go. We try, yeah, we try. Yes. Belalula suda. Enjoy ya. Yeah. Kan, kan, kan. Style lah, style. Enjoy. Okay. Eh, dah, dah. Sudah, sudah. Dah, dah. You look like bear like that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that is very spontaneous, right? Uh, Next up. Like, I turn also spontaneous. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> you turn one time, one time? Like that. Shawal finish ready. Oh. Okay, dah. No. Ready, do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, okay, so uh, next up, we want to try this one more spontaneous song. Just mm-hmm. now, uh, Amiru has sang his part. This one is my part. Yes. Okay? Your turn, huh? Are you ready? I think I'm ready. You try, you try. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ui. Wow. Wait, huh? Ah, I know, I know. I was, uh, the Wi-Fi here is quite bad. Lah. I, I trying to get the, may, may, maybe the walls. Signal, lah. signal, signal. signal. Okay, let's, let's try this at home. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please try this at home. Clap along with us. And, uh, but not so loud. Lah. Later your neighbor complain. Cannot. Okay. <laughs> so let's try this. Bismillah. Nervous. Oh, selamat, selamat, yeah. selamat Hari Raya. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
bersama 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 kelana purba Is so that is uh, a matang. Uh-huh. Okay, so uh, so uh, let me just uh, try to uh, break down again. Ah, uh. okay. so for a tukang karut, hmm? the segments are much more. Uh, we have a bigger. There's more. Like, there's more. More segments. So first we have the Yankee, Y E N G K I, which is the slower one. So the slower uh-huh. one. Then we have the Kelantan. Ooh. Okay, so it's K E L A N T A N. Correct. Ah, ah, okay. So, uh, guys, our, our the first one is what? Yeah. Oh, very good. Very good. The second one is what? Yeah. Very good. And I'm Professor Hamizan from. <laughs> <laughs> no, kidding, kidding, kidding. Okay, so uh, we have the Yankee Kelantan, and just now we sang the Matang. Matang. Uh. Okay, but but this one is considered the Matang modern, uh. Uh, So uh, Matang modern. is M A T A N G. Correct. So the third one is what? Pandai nana ni. Faham di rumah? Faham kerana? Eh! Kilo, kilo, kilo. Faham, Zen? Uh, faham, faham. faham sangat, oh, sangat. Aku besar dari. Alhamdulillah. Okay, so okay. So just now was a, uh, was a commercial song brought into DK Barat form. Uh, con- like right, convert like that lah. Like that convert. is right. And right now we want to bring our own repertoire. Okay. Of repertoire? Wow. Well, big guys, big words. <laughs> But still single. Ah, oh. Tiba. Okay. So let's do this, guys. Let's. Why you laugh? Why we laugh? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, you okay. cute, lah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's do this, guys. Uh, we will sing uh, two two of our songs mm-hmm. from Klana Purba, and this is how it goes. Let's right? go. Kembara Klana bukan tiada arah. Ambillah iktibarnya Like Celine Dion Ooh. Oh. Huh? Oh, oh. Eh, sama, sama. Pemimpin yang saksama
miss that song, man. Yeah, I also miss that song. Okay, uh, just for your info, Kembara Kelana was a song, uh, I think it was back, back then in 2000-ish. Right? Around, around there, I think. 2000 ish, okay. Yeah. And uh, the, se- the, the second one that song that you I sang? sang was back in 2016. Yes, ah, wow. 2016. And uh, and I just want to share to all viewers at home DK Barat is actually a <coughs> uh, seni untuk masyarakat. Uh, uh, how do I. How do and I talk arts to the community. That is right. And, and uh, for those of you who are at home trying to understand our Malay language, uh, most of the lyrics uh, of a DK Barat set. Is uh has a story behind it, yeah, and okay. it's a moral, a good moral to share to every one of you at home. Yep. Yeah. So uh, hopefully we can do this more often. Then oh, we yes. can share more can with share everyone. Share more with everyone at home. That is right. Okay. So once again, guys, uh, and uh, every starting there's an ending, but before that, before we end, <laughs> I would like to call upon uh the bidadari surga. No. Oh yo. <laughs> no la. What what, what what uh the, the cha, cha, cha. I will I will call upon uh the presenter just now. She uh, she present us just now. Yes. Uh, Please. What, what's her name? What's her name? Uh, I I I forgot. Uh, Yani. Yeah, that, uh, that's right. Because I call sayang ni. Uh, oh. Ah cha cha. <laughs> oh, oh, clap 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 clap. clap. Yeah. Very good, very good. Oi, mutang okay, so, hi. Hi Miss Yani. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay, Hello. thank you so much for the entertaining performance. A lot of comments are actually uh, praising you guys for being wow. so entertaining and funny. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we do have a few questions uh, hmm. from the uh, audience at home. Um, but before that, perhaps I have a question of my own. All right, cool. Let's go. Uh, so it is something also that I've uh, uh, my colleague and I were speaking earlier. So Diki Barat, it seems, is mostly done by males. Is there any female Diki Barat there group? Is, there is. Uh, actually, uh, Diki Barat. Okay, yes. Uh, most most of the time, Diki Barat is performed by the the males. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my God. Sorry lah, beauty, right? I cannot lah kita. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait. Sorry. Hey, wait. <laughs> There, there, there. Okay, so sorry. Okay, so uh, usually, most of the time, uh, DK Barrett is uh, performed by the males, but there are females group. Female, there are female group. Surprisingly, there's, I think, more than seven teams in more Singapore. More than seven teams? Yeah. Uh, we might be wrong, we might be correct, but uh, uh, just comment down below, sir, if uh, the f- female groups are watching. Uh, we have, uh, can I name some? Uh, maybe there is Wahana Deksu, oh, yes. Dwidura, uh, we have uh, Sri Kandi, Dang, Dang Anom, Dang Anom. Uh, we have Dayang Bitang Tiga, Bitang Tiga. Uh, we have uh, Nuara, and uh, so on and so forth. Some more, some more. I don't need lah, don't need lah. <laughs> okay, yes, so, uh, uh, but usually m- more guys will play for shows like this rather than uh, the females the f- because, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know, yeah. But, it's, it's but there are lah, but there are, there are, yeah. Okay, yes, please. Okay. Banyak so lagi <laughs> Okay, so for the viewers at home, just a reminder, if you have any questions, please scan the QR code that is at the bottom of your screen so that we can have your questions and we will uh, direct them to the group. That's right. Let's okay. go. Okay. So, um, just now you said that there's different roles that each of the members play. Um, what is... Uh, is there a difference in the years that they need to train? Like, for example, the Awa Awa and between mm-hmm. the, y- yourself as a main singer, is there a different number of years that you guys need to train to become a part of the performing group? Oh, for myself, as a Tok Juara, yeah. it took me three years to train. Yeah. Personally, yeah. personally. Uh, for, what were you? Uh, for me, I've been involved in the art since, since young. So, so maybe uh, it is... It is it is in me already, but uh, as a tukang karut, it takes me at least I think uh, two or three years or so lah. But yeah, because uh, DK Barat is a different genre or a different concept. So for us, the Gen Zs are, or the <laughs> younger generations, <laughs> we we really have to adapt ourselves, you know. But uh, it will be easier if if you enjoy the whole thing lah. Yeah. So uh, two three years and the hour also. Uh, so some of them, as in based on my own experience, yeah. we are not as loud as this beforehand, you know. So it's yeah, well, it's a it's a overtime thing. Uh. It's it, it's never a one night thing. Yeah. So for the musicians, do they need prior knowledge to playing the instruments, or they can just train on the? Uh, prior knowledge, it it is good. 
to have a prior knowledge, but you can train from scratch. So you usually for those of you who want to play Diki Barat, usually they will start off with the Maracas or the Gong and Chanang. So from there, they will uh, establish themselves as a musician or, per, uh, or a percussion, percussionist. Then from there, they will go, go up to playing the anak uh, rubana or ibu rubana. So yeah. if you have no uh, okay, sorry. no sorry. background knowledge or anything, it's okay. Yes. Because we have uh, seniors, our that pioneer right. seniors who are still here with us. So right. they will teach us uh, any, anything. Uh, they will teach That's us right. everything. Uh, may I uh, share uh, a Malay idiom? <coughs> Uh, tak ada yang lama, tak ada yang baru, tak ada yang baru, tak ada yang lama. Meaning, mm. uh, if the seniors is not there for us, there won't be yeah, any us. Genius. Yeah, correct. Yeah, so, yeah lah, gitulah macam itu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next question is yes. because you said the history of Dikbar actually started from Thailand. So That's right. What is the significance of Dikibarat in your culture, rather the Malay community culture, in our culture today? In Singapore. Yes. Uh, so, you want to share? You, you start first. Okay, so uh, from from my uh, from my understanding and my knowledge, uh, back then in Thailand or Malaysia, uh, it is not much of a competition setting. It is much more like we uh, like we have shared. Uh, it's a uh, it's a celebration for the harvest. So and they will do this for weddings and whatnot. And in Singapore, we share the same thing. We perform this for events, functions, mm, yeah, and yeah. weddings. Uh, but in Singapore. We uh we practice more on the language, yeah. Because uh I think in Singapore we we have our uh bulan bahasa. Yeah, correct, correct. So in Singapore, uh it is much focused on the language, the the moral. So uh example for each and every competition we will have a we will have a uh a tema tema apa team a theme, theme. Uh, uh, yeah a theme. So um and then the writers will actually crack their brains and uh, squeeze their brain juices to actually write something out of the box. And the best writer who has the best idea will win. Yeah. So uh, it can be as simple as black and white, uh, a black and white picture, like a circle black and white, and the writers have to... Come to up with, to produce a, a whole lyric yes. for us. Yeah, correct, correct, yeah. Okay, very interesting. Okay, so now we are in a very unique situation with COVID-19. That's right. Yep. So we have some questions here from the viewers Let's who go. are wondering. Um, so with COVID, do you take Diki Barat online and over Zoom, especially when, when we can't meet in large groups? Yeah, uh, at times we do. We To train online is very difficult, la, yeah. but... We but uh, share yeah, it's more of a sharing, sharing session. session. La, sharing, session. Sh sharing session. So like uh, the seniors will sometimes conduct uh, a small uh, sharing group session via Zoom, and uh, especially like uh, if uh, some of our younger ones wants to learn how to write, our seniors will like uh, actually dedicate a time for us to meet on Zoom, and we will learn how to write. Yeah. So, um, besides the sharing, is there anything else that uh, you guys do to sustain um, Diki Barat in this unique situation that we are in? Uh, we oh, will wow. try our best to uh, stay contact, uh, stay together. Uh, and, and recently, uh, during this month of uh, Ramadan, if I can share, uh, we actually did a charity work together. So... <clears throat> uh, so we collected some donations from our group, and we uh, we decided to help those, those people in need. Yeah. So uh, and thankfully we had a good support uh, from our family and and, and our, our friends, and we managed to support at least I think six families all together. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, so. six families all together. So uh, this, are, but definitely with that being said, we. We follow the COVID restrictions, lah. You know, course, and, yeah. and then what not, yeah. Okay, um, so this is uh, back to the performance yes. bit. So, um, in Diki Barat, who actually sets the pace and conducts the group to ensure that everyone is in sync? Especially, you have such a large group of like wow. 12, 16 people. Oh my! Yes, sir. Uh, usually, there will be one trainer. There will be one trainer who train train us, lah. Of course. Yes. Uh, but um, on stage, usually I think is the it is more the, of the percussion. Yeah, percussion. The percussion will set set the tempo. And we follow too. Yeah, and and uh, but and also sometimes the front man gets to decide how fast or how slow he wants to go. 
because uh, yeah, 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 uh and, yeah. and especially in a DK Barat uh shows and competitions we have a time limit to play with you know so uh at times we will we will play in that in that uh like setting lah like. yeah so uh but one thing i like about DK Barat is that it is very versatile so mm. you can play fast you you can play slow you can play chinese english indian and whatever <laughs> not you know and that's what i like about the kibara and, and and that's why i'm still practicing the kibara until now yeah. different 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 varieties uh. that is right that is right so earlier you guys actually said that you guys can adapt to modern songs or rather popular songs that's right yeah right. Have you tried adapting any pop songs? Yes. <laughs> wow, Ooh. that's a very important. Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, yes, we have. We have actually do that. Uh, you wanna hear a bit of it? Hey. Yeah, you guys don't mind? I think. Can I? Can I? Okay. That. You are. Wow, this is very spontaneous. Ah, uh. wow, interesting. Ah, uh, this Yanni. Okay, okay. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Yes. Uh, so, uh, but I need the Palawan to play something for me. Dung ta, dung ta, dung. Alright guys, wow, I'm really You are, you are, you very yeah, brave, that's right. you very brave Okay, clap, rise, five, six, seven, go Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls at home This is a commercial song, an, an English pop song That is being brought forward to a DK Barat context And this is I'm Yours by Jason Barras <laughs> Ready? Well, you done done me and you bet I felt it wow. I tried to be chill, but you so hard that I melted I fell right through the cracks, huh Now I'm trying to get back Before the cool done run out, I'll be giving him my bestness And nothing gonna stop me with divine and adventures I reckon it's Ready, guys. my turn Wow, wow. This is a bunch of talented guys here. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, so um okay, there's one question here. Okay, I think maybe I can combine these two questions. Okay, let's go, let's go. So are there many young people join Dicky Barat? Because this person says it's a challenge to attract young people for many traditional performance of art and to relate to the same question, there's a question here that says, Are you guys recruiting? Oh, okay. Uh, maybe I can share. Yeah. Uh, please, our please. group, the, uh, we have seven generations all together. And uh, right now, the youngest we have I think is he actually... A... How old are you, sorry? 19. Yeah, and at the point of time, you were joining at... Uh, 15. 15. He was 15 when he joined us. Yeah, okay. So, sorry, yeah, yeah. 15 years old. This guy 19. Here. Yes. Who's playing the Anna Robana. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and are we recruiting? We sir? are recruiting. We are recruiting. Yes, uh, definitely. Uh, we are more than open. We 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 are more than willing to uh, let you guys in. So uh, just hit uh, hit us up on our IG or Facebook at uh, Klana Purba. Klana Purba. Yeah, uh, is that right? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Klana Purba. Uh, if not, Klana Purba nine five nine zero. Yeah, if not, can uh, just uh. follow my IG lah. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah. Okay, so there's one question here. So there's this viewer who yes. remembers watching competitions when he was young. Wow, okay. When he was a teen. Right. So in your opinion, has DK Barat evolved or changed over the years? Definitely. Uh, Definitely. Uh, compared uh, to back in the early 90s, and now it's totally different. That's right. In terms of songs, uh, lyrics, and the movement and all, definitely there's a difference. Yeah. Uh, I would say that uh, the evolution. Wow, Ooh, big evolution. words for big guys, huh? <laughs> okay, so the uh, the evolution of DK Barat uh, then and now it is uh, then it was falling more on the Kelantan side, on the Malaysia mm, side. Correct, correct. But right now in Singapore, as what I've mentioned, as what we have mentioned, we uh, we 
we, we kind kind of have we our did own did own type of uh, DK Barat, something like that. Huh? <laughs> We yeah, have uh, our own creativity. Uh. That's right. Uh, we try our best to explore more genres. Uh, so, uh, DK Barat, as what we have showed, we can play commercial songs. And uh, Kalana Purba, ourselves, we have played rock genre, yeah. reggae genre. We have played uh, Latin, I think. And yes, uh, some Asli. Asli in apa? Asli? Malay apa? Uh, English apa? <laughs> uh, traditional. Traditional. Oh, it's true. Betul. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, in, in that context, it uh, it differs from then and now, and 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 also uh, in terms of our playing style, uh, some uh, some groups actually bring in westernized instruments to play uh, for the Palawan side, like uh, like say the snare, uh, the flutes and whatnot. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, um, com- uh, since we're on the topic of competition yes. that the young viewer watched yep. when he was younger. Uh, so they mentioned there's a question here that says that Kalana Purba uh, organize DK Barat competitions. That's right. In line with the COVID guidelines. That's right. Correct. Uh, so they are asking, will you be paving way for other groups or organizers mm. if the situation does not get better? Will you make the move to actually do that? Oh man. <laughs> okay. Uh, may That's I answer kind of that question? Okay. So uh, recently, I think. We when when okay uh, before raya eh before puasa uh before the fasting month Feb- we february, actually it was back in february uh back in february we actually had our own um we organized our own competition yes correct yeah. it's called laya chitra dk but uh for this covid uh, uh setting we actually uh only did the juara half so instead of a full set it was a half set so it was just uh, Laya Chitra DK Edisi Lagu Juara. So and uh, thankfully we had uh, good good support from good support from other, uh, groups. other groups. And uh, but whether or not are we going to make another one, uh, we are not sure. I'm not. We are unable to confirm. That anything is right. Yet. But but hopefully if there are supports, you know, if there are people out there who are willing to join us and uh, and play and share the love of this art to the whole... By all means. By all means, yeah. By all means. And plus, and one thing, what I like about this digital platform is that we can... Because if we play live, right, in a a normal DK Barat setting competition, it's only shared in Singapore. But if we play digital, it can be played in in Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, and where else, you know? Yeah, so... Uh, hopefully, if if uh, if we can get the support from each and every groups out there, and if our seniors or our heads uh, agree agreed with that, so why not? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, um, I think some of our viewers are actually um, non-Malays. Yes. So, uh, there's a there's two questions here. I'll just combine it. Do you host the Kibarat sessions for different communities to participate together and? Um, can non-Malays actually join your group for Diki Barat? Yes, of course. We do have a non-Malay uh, person back back in oh I cannot remember which year, but one of my school group school group there was Sorry. a Chinese man. Wow. Yeah, join join our team, but he was with us for only a year. After that, he graduated and moved on. Yeah. What, what were you? Yeah. Uh, uh, and and I think we have also a, a Indian people in our group. So like uh so like the but usually uh a bit hard to p- uh, pronounce the word so most uh most of the time they will play the uh, percussion side so but if they can join us and be the owl or be even the singers be why not easy. Uh, and uh, and also uh you were asking about the second question is uh, sorry non Malays actually join the DK Bar group. Okay. Yes. And what? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, do we do uh, 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 sessions to for different communities? Yes. Of course. Of course. Uh, we actually uh, before COVID, we were actually active doing uh, community shows. Oh, yeah. 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 So uh, whoever and whoever who wants to join us and just and just just calm down and sit down and just see us clapping. And, and sometimes during that event, we yeah. bring them we bring along. them up. That is right, that is right. But sadly, in this COVID setting, in this uh, new norm, uh, we can't do that, you know. So, but hopefully, uh, we we just pray that things yeah, get better and maybe we can have live audience, live performance and soon. for them to be on stage with us. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, so we are down to our two final questions. All right, let's go. Um, so the next one I'm going to ask is the movements that you do, ah. uh, how is it choreographed? How do okay. you come up with the choreography? Sir, so, okay, there's a difference between uh, show and competition. Competition, obviously, we will be training for two months and then we'll go for the competition. But yes. for this type of show, um, we will uh, usually reuse re and recycle. So sometimes we recycle the yeah. movement and sometimes we just create the movement like on the spot. You know, like one hour, two hours before the show, we just come up with an idea and just we, we just do it together. That's right. Uh, but but with that being said, we we keep the entertainment value at the, at the top niche. Of course. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, that is for shows. So, shows. for... Uh, competition. For competitions, we usually do it uh, uh, through the music, the musical arrangement or... Either the sometimes we follow the, the lyrics. The lyrics. So, uh, let's say, uh, you the lyric states that you just came back from home, work tired. So I can do. Uh, can you hold for me? Like that, uh, so, so, so it's like, pop, like that. Open the door. Open the door. Stop. Tired. You know the kind of thing? Yeah. Style, huh? Yeah, so uh and 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 that's and, and that's why I say DK Bird is very, very versatile, very, very flexible in terms of but uh we can we can sit down and, and do our stuff, uh but the the ethics or the uh etiquette of a DK Bird is not for the our, our not to stand. So that's our just uh, that's that's just our main constraint, lah, you know. Yeah, so other than that yeah, that, I think there's there's all this. Yeah, right. yeah. So, uh, you actually get your inspiration from everyday movements, like that. That is right. You know. And sometimes we do it, uh, from K-pop. <laughs> oh no, no me, <laughs> no me. <laughs> that one I will see. Oh yeah, yeah, we yeah. Get yeah. The, so, uh, the inspiration, and, and, the inspiration. Yeah, and, and uh, sometimes we get inspirations from uh, say, dan dude. Dance, from dance from, problem, basically. Yeah, dance from school. dance. Uh, I I think for those viewers at home, you guys probably know Jabberwocky. So sometimes our group. Act actually infuse that uh, pop and lock kind of move in that setting. Yeah. Okay. So the final question, Let's I go. see that um, all of them are actually in very colourful costumes. That's right. So is there a, is there a term for your headgear? And there's okay. a difference in the way that our awa use their headgear as compared to the... Okay, let's go. Two main singers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, okay. uh, is, is there a name for it? Okay. Uh, and then, if the costume is there, any terms? or is Okay, just so yeah. uh, the first main difference is, is the yeah. size. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the size, me and you, different. You're you very uh, funny. Uh, you. That's why you're okay. the kangaroo. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, so please share. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. The head is called the tanja. Tanja. Uh, moving on to this is normal. Baju kurung. Yeah, that's right. Baju kurung. Baju Melayu lah. Baju, Baju Melayu. Then this one is the something. Yes. And the pants lah. The pants, of yes. So, uh, for the... Okay, usually for the keyboard context, uh, the the tukang eh, the tukang karun and the tuk juara will wear separately. Like, uh, they will be the king of the show. So, they will the Highlight, outstand. the highlight. Yeah. The highlight of the show. They will uh, outstand from the the rest of the awa and whatnot. And the awa and the paluan will wear seragam. Apa uh, panggil dia? Uniform. Uniform. <laughs> that is right. Okay. So, uh, so once again, the headgear is called the tanja. Uh, but sometimes there are times that uh, they wear ikat kepala. So it's just a, a cloth whereby they will just uh, tie around their head. Uh, and then usually that will, will 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 be in the Kelantan setting. Yes, correct. Yeah. Then uh, so the baju melayu, the samping, and and there are the tertip ataupun the uh, etiquette, etiquette of um. Uh, why why we wear the something? It's 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 a, a Malay culture whereby we have to be uh, sopan friendly. <laughs> Salah, macam <laughs> mana? <laughs> uh, sopan can lah, can lah. Boleh lah, boleh lah kan. <laughs> Understand lah, my English. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah. Uh, and so uh, the baju that they wear, uh, we can call it as busana. So Cost busana is, is is one whole thing lah. Yes. And uh, to add on, at times we will cater our busana or our costume towards the set. So mm. if if the set is about, uh, say, uh, being on an uh, ocean, so the team would probably wear something blue-ish, you know, yeah. and props and whatnot, yeah. A a and props and sometimes are being uh, allowed in some competitions and shows, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. For Welcome, thank you so all, much. Uh, the audience's 
uh, question. So right now, they have a final performance. That's I, right. I understand. So I will hand it over to you, Beck. Thank you, Yanni. All right. Okay, guys. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls at home, right now, it's our last song. Okay. So uh, usually in a DK Barat setting, we have this last song. And this last song is uh, compulsory. It's a tradition, traditional that song. That is right. So it's a goodbye song la, to everyone. And and once again, thank you so much, uh, National Museum of Singapore, for having us. Klana Purba, thank you so much, guys. Please give a round of applause for National Museum of Singapore. And also, thank you so much to those of you viewers at home who are watching us. Klana Purba, and what? Uh, please do uh, follow our IG, Klana Purba 9590. So it's K E L A N A P U R B A 9590. And do not forget, uh, follow us on Facebook. Facebook also? Uh, same also. Klana Purba. Same also. And also, uh, do, don't forget, after this, we have uh, National Museum of Singapore have a giveaway to give away to you, you guys. guys yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, and this is our last song that is titled Wow Bulan. Let's go, huh? Wow. Bye-bye.